our last day here in Malawi and it's been an incredible experience to see the impact that the 40 hour famine has made. You might feel like you're only raising a little bit of money but when we all put that together it makes a massive difference. One project has been giving animals to communities. There are cows, rabbits, chickens and of course plenty of goats. Hey, so in New Zealand, it's kind of a joke that you would give someone in Africa a goat for Christmas or for your birthday. And you might think, like, what does someone want with a goat? Well, it turns out goats are actually pretty useful over here. Meet Thomas. He's a local goat farmer who owns a whole herd of very cute goats. This is TK. He works for the 40 Hour Famine in this community. Can you tell me how Thomas and his family have benefited from the 40 Hour Famine? The uh, 40 Hour Famine project has done so many things in this community. And the Thomas family is one of the many families in this village of Chimeza who have benefited from goats. So, goats, okay. So what is good about giving a family goats? Uh, the good thing is that uh, children, mothers and their fathers can eat meat from goats, which is number one. I have had goat meat here since I've been in Malawi, you know, when in Rome, and it's actually really nice. Number two is whenever there is a uh, need for money, the households can sell goats and get money. It's more or less like you're going to an hotel machine <laughs> and cash money. A little ATM there. Yeah, yeah. Families are given two female goats each and the village gets a few male goats to share. When they breed, you have to give away your first two female babies to a neighbour or someone else in the village who hasn't got goats. It's like paying it forward and spreading the gift. But after doing that, families can keep the baby goats or sell them to earn money. At the end of the day, everybody in the village gets their goat. Fantastic. And there is another thing that yeah. I forgot to tell you, <laughs> is that uh, the goats also are a source of animal manure. So we take the, 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 the animal dung from the gods, mix with some you know, uh, organic materials and make some compost. And we take that compost to the farmland. The compost is used to help grow the food crops like corn, soya beans, tomatoes and peanuts. Okay, one more question. Yes. Do they have names? Do you give them pet names? Gods. Yeah. Some they do, but normally we just call them gods. You know? If they're going to be on the dinner table, the general rule is no names, right? No names or goats in <laughs> Would you name two goats here, Adam and Michael, after some guys I work with? Yeah, to some extent we can do that. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a little Adam and Michael running around. <laughs> I think you. let's pick the most annoying goat we should call Adam. Mm -hmm. And um, is there a goat who really loves food? That should be Michael. Ah, okay. Yeah. Fine, we'll try to do that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, that is the end of the trip for me. Very soon I'm going to be jumping on a plane and flying all the way back to New Zealand. But before I go, I want to say this trip has been life changing. I'll never forget the people that we've met. And for you at home who are doing the 40 hour famine or supporting someone who's doing the famine, you need to know that you are making a difference. And we can make a difference for people in Bangladesh too. So go hard this weekend, raise heaps and heaps of money and have fun. And I'll see you on what now? On Sunday. Actually, before we go, in Malawi it's customary to do a little bit of a, a goodbye dance, like a, a goodbye boogie in the village. So I'm gonna take these moves and these moves over there. Like this. Like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The words I've heard most often in Malawi are Zukomo Gwambiri, which means thank you very much. Everyone I've met has been really grateful, especially to you guys in New Zealand who are doing or have done the 40 hour famine. Um, they want you to know that they really, really appreciate it. Eva, you've been pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh, listen. Oh.